Hi Sagittarius, it's Power and Light Tarot coming at you with the reading. And today we have another cool tarot reading for you guys. And we have the Nine of Cups. And in this reading, Sagittarius, it's the two gnomes, their husband and wife, or their you know boyfriend and girlfriend, and their partners. And uh, the name of the card is drunkenness. So it's like they're drunk in love. That's what it is. Unless you know you've been getting drunk a lot, right? And you know that's your business, right? <laughs> but this is really about somebody who's really like really in love with somebody or really kind of infatuated. I could say that, right? And we have the book, the book of revelations, the book of answers. It's sometimes a secret, but I feel like in this, in this reading, it's not really secret. It's probably more like, uh, the book of, they call this hope too, but the book of answers and revelations that way, not really a secret, right? And so the wall and, uh, Yumiko is here and she is, the transformational lady, right? That's her name. Uh, it's the name of the car transformation. And she has this hand coming out of this ball. She's holding this, uh, clam or the oyster. <coughs> and, uh, she took a bite out of this apple. The point of this card is that this is role playing. Somebody's role playing about you because you're their wish. It's like they're going over it in their head, either what to say to you or or, uh, or possibly they could just be going over in their head, their, their situation with you, like, you know, or being together. I feel like it's more like being together. Maybe they're thinking you guys are going to have a couple drinks. I'm not sure on that. Uh, but you know, here's the gnome. He's looking at his wife, like, uh, you're getting way too drunk here. <laughs> kind of like that. We have the wall and this is somebody who feels who has a little bit of uh, fear here and they feel kind of stuck behind that wall because it talks about obstacles. It's possible. So this person wants to say something to you, but let's continue. And then we have failure. Oh, and the failure he's broke. So that's the five of pentacles in this deck. And it doesn't, uh, maybe this person's broke for some reason, but it doesn't always have to be that sometimes it's just something else has failed. Let's see what else we have, uh, from the, the star seed deck. Let's see what we got for Sagittarius. And we have wait, water, your garden, nourishment, body care, tenderness, rest. So somebody needs to really kind of take care of themselves and recharge their batteries. And we also have earth school, life lessons, <coughs> soul growth, study and higher learning. Okay. So yeah, Sorry, you guys. So this earth school life lessons and the book over here, this is kind of answers or revelations, kind of like the tower a little bit, uh, with these cards, but this really kind of talks about somebody learned here life lessons. <coughs> Good, right? Yeah. And so a uh, higher learning soul growth. Maybe you are studying something Sagittarius too, because you guys are about study, right? You are, let's see what these cards say right here. And we're going to pick one of 12. These are the signs because I want to see the kind of the energy, right? And we know every sign talks about kind of a lot of things, but there is one main gist on it. Yeah, there is. If we had to say an overall energy or um, description, let's see what we got for Sagittarius. Show me the energy, please. And I'm not looking at the cards because you can see them on both sides. We have Pisces. Okay. And, uh, mm -hmm. and so interesting. Let's see your life purpose is to offer service to a higher principle, a journey that may involve the sacrifice of personal desires. That's really interesting about Pisces, how they, you know, they say that they need to kind of sacrifice some, something of their own personal desire. It is the 12th house, the 12th house. Uh, it can talk about sacrifice too, partially because it's about endings and new beginnings and uh, it's very interesting. Developing artistic imagination is a key dimension of your life. Yeah, definitely. They are artists my daughter's Pisces. And so let's see what else it says here. Planets here tend to be unfocused in their expression. Look at that. So it's going to depend on your, your planets in Pisces. They're unfocused in their expression because Pisces is a water sign and they are often kind of, kind of unclear about things. They are uh, they can be right because of the sea sort of, and they don't really have boundaries. So they kind of don't understand. And what I mean by the boundaries, you might say, I know somebody with, you know, great boundaries, but it just means that 
they sometimes like they might not be clear on something like maybe possibly when to stop something or about what they want things like that right and uh mm -hmm, it is very interesting and uh they do have a beautiful expression they are compassionate and artistic uh, and they are healers, they're psychics, and it goes on, on and on, right? Uh, photographers, cinematographers, uh, and, you know, it's a long list. But uh, this is about, this is possibly about somebody who didn't know what they wanted because they were unfocused in their expression, and it is about their imagination. And as the final sign, the task of Pisces is to find freedom from material limitations and connect with the intangible and the magical. Yeah, which is the, the divine world, right? Sh sure it is. Uh, the divine source of life. And this talks about negative mutable water, which is, uh, you know, beautiful, beautiful. Mutable is definitely, you know, adaptable. And, you know, the water and focuses, suggests focus on an internal world flowing according to feeling. Yeah, they do everything with feeling, right? If they're not feeling it, they, you know... Uh, if they're in their higher mind, they know for sure I'm not doing that. And it, it just kind of talks about they really trust their intuition, especially when they're in their higher. Everything is based on their feelings, right? Which can be tough sometimes. It, it, it really kind of could. And let's get into the tarot reading for you, Sagittarius. We're using this other deck, and it's kind of a long, a long explanation. But, you know, a lot of us have Pisces rising, Pisces moon, right? We may not know that guys want your chart interpreted it is uh lots of eye-opening fun very profound and deep and uh, it can really help you uh really live your true potential because it offers up uh unconscious patterns right and if there's anything that is unclear it shows you how to with the energy of the planets and the houses it shows you and the transits it shows you how to improve that or you know uh, fix that and move into your higher self is really what it is. This is what we talk about when we say higher, uh, higher life or your life purpose. And if you want a psychic reading, Sagittarius, I'm accurate. I'm a silver grad. Everything is below. Uh, there are lots of fun. If you'd like one, see the calendar below. If you don't know somebody, trust them, or they just kind of came around out of nowhere, something like that. I just met them. Really good to get one. And I can help you with your own unique with your own uh perspective of course not just about love or the other person i've done that several 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 times and also the tarot reading is uh we do that in the combo and so now you have two unique insights right uh you do the clairvoyance and the divination of the tarot so very very fun and everything else is below in my in the description box mystic sense offers a free five minute reading for you guys and uh, check that out five minutes psychic reading so let's see what we have here and i've already cut these and uh yeah we have the lovers so we have got to cover them so as soon as we start the reading the lovers are here maybe your person is a pisces right they could be here's the king of cups right and we know the king of cups is pisces typically right mm -hmm. And we have the Ten of Swords. Look at that. All the swords are out and she's standing here in her, kind of in her aura, right? Yeah, interesting. The Queen of Wands is here, Sagittarius. Here you are. She looks just like this, uh, this girl kind of named Rena. She kind of does. And we have the Nine of Pentacles. And yeah, let's see what else. The Ace of Cups is reversed in the reading. The Ten of Cups. Wow. Uh, very nice reading so far. The world card, another naked person. Yeah, I feel like this person is probably saying, I can't live without Sagittarius's naked body. That could be the case here, right? Mm -hmm. And the world is in the environment. And this is, you know, the psyche, the emotional environment. It can be a physical environment too. And uh, we have the four of pentacles. So yeah, let's see what these uh, are basically all about. But when we start with the lovers, this is a divine couple. The angel is here. Uh, this is a different deck. It's a very cool deck. And so the lovers is a choice, right? But the angel's blessing them and the angel is going, well, you guys belong together. Your soul, your soul is united, things like that. And let's have a look at that, uh, at the lovers and just see what they, what their take is on it in this reading. There may be a Gemini in the reading. And we have a striking red sun is shown at the top of the card. 
I had to cover this naked lady here. Yeah, I did. Let's uncover him. Um, here we go. And so, yeah. And where are we here? Mm -hmm. It is the source of spiritual energy focused in the center. The tree of life is heavily laden with fruit. All levels of consciousness are portrayed. Yes. The man is the conscious level, right? Kind of like the divine masculine because he's the conscious. And the woman is the receptive or the unconscious or the higher conscious is what I like to call it. Mm -hmm. And so we all have two minds. Yes, we do. That's why we need to use them. And uh, we use one of them all the time. That is the conscious mind. But we need to use the, the unconscious mind or your intuition, of course. He gazes confidently at the woman who is the, sub, who is the subconscious level, you see. In turn, she looks to the cherub of higher consciousness emanating from the great angel Raphael. Okay, so then they go on. The key words are choice with harmony. Uh, and two paths, possibly the time to make a choice, the outcome of which is of vital importance. So you've already been chosen Sagittarius because this person is kind of probably drunk and infatuated with you kind of in a, you know, punch drunk as we used to call when we were kids. And that just kind of meant that you were either super tired or, or you're just kind of, you know, or so into what you're doing, you're kind of punch drunk. Yeah. And so here's the lovers and this person has chosen you and the outcome of their choice is of, is, is of utter importance, right? And here's the wall. Here's where they're afraid right here. And so I feel like this person is visualizing you with this role playing. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. And so, mm -hmm. and so now we have the King of Cups. It's sitting in the uh, it sits here in the challenging energy here, and this can be about love, making decision in love. And if this is sitting here with this card, that's, that's, it's showing the same thing. This choice I made, the outcome is of vital importance to me. And I feel challenged by it, right? And maybe they are Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio, potentially. And here's the Ten of Swords, and this is why it's all happening. And, you know, that Ten of Swords is uh, really like, it's it, the swords are out and she's kind of dealing with she's trying to deal with like an ending but let's see what it says here about the ten of swords and so extreme unhappiness depression and a sense of loss this person has chosen you and they they're depressed or they're really sad now Sagittarius this may be you so uh only you will know who this is but this is about two people for sure it is and so extreme unhappiness, uh, allow new energy to transform you. Change is imminent. So change is inevitable, but it's, it's, it's going to happen right away. And this is in the root. This person wants change and they've been very unhappy. Uh, they have, and they're, they're trying to allow new and new energy to transform them, to change them. They're doing their best, you know, uh, to come out of sadness right? Because, because they're, they're into you here. They want you. And the transformation card can be doing, that could be too. Like, well, I need to do this myself with my mind. I need to be like, you know, maybe doing mantras, right? Or, uh, there's another word that I can't, it's kind of, uh, eluding me here. Um, but, um, you know, or visualizations and affirmations, right? Things like that. And so the queen of wands is in the past. She sits there and this is kind of just, this is about you, Sagittarius. That's all it is. It's somebody who has an attractive personality. All right, Sagittarius. So, you know, good for you. And so here's the, the, uh, the four of the nine of pentacles rather, right? And so she's sitting by the window and she's drinking her tea and she lives in a nice house. You can tell by her window and her her flowers outside and over here is a pillow on her couch, right? So we know she's got some, she's, you know, she's kind of set, right? And so this is the mindset here. And this can talk about you like your self-sufficiency, you know, you, how well you're doing financially or, you know, it can, it can also talk about somebody who is single, like on their own. And she's sitting on the couch alone. The mindset here, it's possible this person needed to be on their own, whatever that may mean, right? And, you know, maybe they're living with their parents. Maybe they were in a relationship. But whatever it is, they wanted to be on their own here. And maybe they are leaving a relationship. The Ten of Swords is deep loss. And change is, 
just around the corner changes you know uh, ever so present and so the nine of pentacles a feeling of being incomplete okay still seeking goals though others may think you have it all so she's sitting here with her tea looking out the window like going when am i going to reach my goal that's really what this is about in this particular deck yeah mm -hmm. yeah incomplete this person feels incomplete without you yeah because they they have life lessons and soul growth yeah they do and so that's what the lovers talks about talks about the man is you know talks about the divine masculine and the higher consciousness and the woman right of the both of both here and that she is the divine feminine so we have the yin and the yang basically right which is which is really the higher consciousness um, in essence. Here's the Ace of Cups reverse. It's in the near future. Let's have a look at the Ace of Cups. Uh, egotistical and self-centered. Wow. And so, you know, this maybe this person is afraid that you're going to be like that. It's possible. But, you know, everything else here is very beautiful. So let's get a card on that and figure what that figure out, figure that out, right? And we have the High Priestess. So, you know, it's possible that there, there's a, uh, your person is a water sign and they're dealing with somebody else here who is, because this Ten of Swords can talk about an ending. It, it does, right? Uh, the Tower is here too, which is an ending. It's a wake up. It's like, hey, it's time to move on, right? It's, you know, it can be really hard, right? You can fall f flat on your face uh, when the Tower comes and really bite the dust and sometimes that's what people really need to wake up in their life they do they go what well look what happened look what i'm doing and the high priestess is here she's super intuitive she's psychic there could be a pisces or a scorpio here uh that you know that is involved uh there could be third party energy here is kind of what i'm saying here but this too can talk about with this energy here it can talk about i know intuitively that i was a jerk that could be this energy here like yeah e even if it sits in the near future sometimes that's not it's not about the placement you guys really about the energies that are here and the overall picture right for sure and so this person i feel like knows that because they are feeling incomplete without you and uh i just feel like they're worried in this reading we have the wall yeah and right and so ten of cups is in the concern you see and we have the angel sitting here, or she's a, she's a little girl, actually. She's sitting on the rainbow. The ten cups are up here, and they're all full of alcohol. Just kidding, Capricorn, uh, Sagittarius. And uh, but they're he's looking at her, and the sun is red in the back. Very interesting, uh, or that may be the moon. It looks more like the moon. And he's looking at her, uh, you know. And they're both looking at each other with admiration. And he's you know he's very uh, happy looking at her and this is your dreams coming true in love and that is the concern in this reading to have dreams come true and remember the lovers the lovers was about the choice i made and the outcome it talks about uh it's vital importance the outcome here right somebody's really invested in this right it's the opposite of like if you you know if you go uh if you go on a sales presentation and that's what they tell you uh, just be detached from the outcome, right? Otherwise, you go in there nervous and, oh, I really have to have this. I really have to have this, right? I need the sale. But in this reading, it's it's very similar. This person is very attached to the outcome. So in the environment sits the world. And here she is, uh, the lady, the world card. The world card is something very beautiful. And uh, it talks about maturity. And let's see what they say about the world card that sits in the psyche basically or in the emotional in in the heart or in the physical environment or both i feel like in this reading it's definitely both it sits underneath this ending where there's loss but change ready for change right and so the world card is showing up as uh we are free to go in any direction triumphant in any undertaking yeah it's a beautiful card right and so in this, it can talk about we're free to go in any direction because it's closing out of cycles. It's any, any cycle, a physical cycle, an emotional cycle. We have soul growth here. So we know that uh, somebody has uh, really grown here, right? And so the fool has now concluded his journey. Yeah, and he, you know, the fool had to suffer along the way. And that's probably kind of why they call him a fool too, right? 
And so, uh, you know, so this person most likely suffered and we see loss. You did or they did, Sagittarius. We see loss in the reading and we see, I really want my new beginning. I hope it really comes true for me. And the flowers, the wreath of flowers and leaves is given to the initiate, the person who is, uh, you know, going in their own direction. Uh, when he has learned to use the four esoteric tools of life, which is the cup, the pentacle, the sword, and the wand. Yeah, when we can use those, we are, uh, that's why the dancer always stands there with everything, all the elements on her, on the card. Uh, when we can use those, we are operating in the yin and the yang with the divine feminine and the divine masculine energy okay the soul is rich with the experience of many lifetimes you see that this person might be a past life partner it definitely could be and the spiritual traveler has learned see spiritual traveler with spiritual growth has learned knowledge and understanding he has now mastered the world and is aware of cosmic obligations yeah this person feels tied to you sagittarius uh you, you know uh on the soul level and the key words are victorious victorious completion yeah now you're free to go in any direction a job well done and it already said that right you will be triumphant in any undertaking very beautiful this is in the environment and it's underneath this ending it's possible that i feel like this person has like gone in their gone their own way from something something goes away here something ends something completes itself the Ten of Pentacles, the Ten of Swords is here, etc. The Tower shows up here. And the Tower, these people are actually, uh, I really like this Tower. It's very cool because these people here are, here's the lightning is hitting them. And as they kind of suffer being, uh, they're kind of suffering because they have to fly out of the Tower. Otherwise, the Tower is going to be on fire from the lightning, uh, right? So, and it is kind of on fire already over here. But what happens here is uh, they fly out with power. They don't fall to their death. And yeah, it's very cool. Here's a dove inside. We know doves are hope and love. They are faith. And so here they are flying here, but they're flying with their power out of some type of an ending, right? So we know sometimes when we say, oh, I, I didn't want that to end really, or even maybe even some types of jobs or, oh, I really needed that job. But you know, when it ends, uh, You've learned so much about yourself and now you're stronger because of it and it wasn't meant to be. So they're, they're being kicked out of the tower. They are. And, you know, and so let's have a look at the tower shows lightning as a cosmic force. You see, this is uh, the universe uh, doing this, doing, bringing in the tower that breaks down false structures and ideals. So there's something here that uh, someone moves away from that was kind of built on a, a, a flimsy foundation or like, you know, uh, the beliefs were wrong. Okay. Money's the most important. No, it's not that it's not at all. And that's what this talks. Oh, Pisces talks about, where's that card? Uh, I don't know where I put it. Oh, here it is. This talks about breaking free from the material world to find and connecting with the intangible and the magical, the divine source of life. That's what this person is doing. They are, uh, they are connecting, leaving some type of materialism or something, a relationship that was based on money, kind of, you know, vanity fair kind of, uh, you know, energy here. The tower originates from the same source that created the hermit's flame. It is the same power that the magic, that the magician uses, excuse me, in a window of the tower are the doves. Uh, I think I said dove of of the Holy Spirit. One remains to rebuild the tower and the other flies out to give comfort to our fallen ideals. Yeah, very interesting. The tower is the inevitable change caused by the cosmic need to return to our path. That's right. That's, that's right. The tower will take you down really hard and often hurt you. Uh, it might take away your job, might take away your whole life here, but it is to return you to your path. It's like, um, you know, something awful kind of, but it's a blessing in disguise. That's what the tower is. As we look at the tower, we know there is always a new one to build. The key words are cosmic direction. Take a good long look at your life. The situation will change rapidly. Be prepared. Uh, very cool, right? Yeah, it is. And so in the potential outcome shows the four of pentacles. And here's the man uh, posing as Hercules, right? 
or yeah or batman just kidding right and here he is four of pentacles he's holding those up they're very important this card talks about holding on to what's important to us of course and the four of pentacles in this particular deck strong attachment to materialistic pursuits and endeavors okay interesting and firmly footed so the tower took uh this person it was right next to it took this person right out of what i said took them out of their materialistic thing right maybe this person goes uh, every time something new comes out i'm gonna have to have that but they're not really happy in their life right in fact a simple life brings more pleasure it really does and uh, a lot of us kind of realize that right after we might have had it all and then you know yeah that's very interesting thank you so much for joining me a beautiful reading Sagittarius I hope you guys have a great evening please remember to like share and subscribe and hit the little bell for any notifications and get your psychic reading or your chart done right yeah mm -hmm. I do tarot readings as well and uh and psychic readings separately thanks so much you guys